In this video, we're going to be graphing a parabola of the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. We recently did one without the a. This one's going to be a little different. So when we have the a in front, you have to first find what it is and factor it out of the first two terms only, not the third term. Okay. And then once you figure out that, you'll figure out this b over a. So it'll be b over a divided by 2 squared. So b over a and b over a squared divided by 2. So let me write that bigger, b over a over 2 squared, okay? Not, not as much as you might think because it's just going to be the number that's inside the parentheses uh, that will be our b. Okay, so you'll factor that and you'll get your vertex. So let's try an example. We got y is equal to 2x squared plus 8x plus 11. Our a is 2, so we factor that out. y is equal to 2 times x squared plus 4x, and then plus 11. Now, this is the number you're going to, to complete the square with right here, this number right here. So you divide 4 by 2 and square to get 2 squared, which is 4. Okay, that's the number we're going to add here and subtract over here. Okay, so you get y is equal to 2 times x squared plus 4x plus 4. That should that should uh, result in a perfect square after you factor it, and then plus 11. And now we need to do this step where it says subtract the a times that thing. So we subtract subtract this times the a, so minus 2 times the thing that we added, which was a 4. So 2 times this got added, and then 2 times this got subtracted. Okay, so that would be y is equal to 2 times, let's factor that, it's x plus 2. It's a perfect square. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 plus 2 equals 4. And then this would be 11 minus 8, which would be 3. So our vertex is equal to, remember it's the opposite sign of this and the same sign as that. So negative 2 comma 3. Okay, so there's our vertex of the first one. So let me write that over here. It was negative 2 comma 3. Okay, we can go there on the graph, negative 2 on the x, 3 on the y, that's here. Okay, our a is equal to 2. That means our 3a is equal to 6. Are we opening up or down? Well, this number is positive, so smiley face. Okay, and now let's follow the steps. So over 1, up, a, a was 2, right? Over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2. Forget that little point there. And then over 1, up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's up here, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's up here, and we got the graph of the parabola. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So this one looks like our a is going to be a negative, right? So let's write it down real quick. So y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 18x minus 22. Our a is negative 3, okay, so we factor that out of the first two terms. Negative 3 factors out, and you get x squared, let's see, what is 18 divided by negative 3? Negative 6x, okay, and then minus 22. And now we take this number right here, divide it by 2 and square it, so negative 6 divided by 2 squared, and that would be negative 3 squared, and that would be 9. Uh, keep in mind that a shortcut you can use is this number is always going to be the last number of the factor. Okay, I'll show you. I'll, I'll bring that up to your attention in just a second. Okay, so this is this is the number we're adding here and subtracting over here. So it'd be y is equal to negative 3 times x squared minus 6x plus 9. Okay, and then minus 22 minus, let's see, it would be negative 3 times nine okay the minus came from the formula the negative three was our a and you multiplied it by the number that was getting added to both sides okay so this will factor right here into negative three negative three so x squared minus not x squared x minus three squared is this portion and then let's see this is minus 22 this would end up being a plus 27. So what is 27 minus 22? 5. So our vertex on this one 
is, let's see, it's opposite of this, so three, same as this, five. Okay, now that we have that, let's write it on our graph, three, five, three, five, there we go. And it's a frowny face because of the negative, so it's opening downward, okay? Our A was negative three, so our three A is negative nine. Okay, so let's start um, over one, and since the A is negative, we'll go down three. Same on the other side. And then over one, down nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that would be right here on the other side. And there's our parabola. Okay. The second method is going to be a lot quicker, especially when you have that A that's out front. Okay, we're going to use the negative B over 2A and then the F of negative B over 2A, which we covered a little bit last video. Okay, so let's go down to this one. We've got our A is equal to 3 and our B is equal to 12. So X is equal to negative B over 2A, which is negative 12 over 2 times Three, that's six. So x is equal to, let's see, negative 12 divided by six would be negative two. So that's the x portion of my vertex. In order to find the y portion, I just plug that number in. So I get y is equal to three times negative two squared plus 12 times negative two plus eight. Let's work that out real quick. So this gets squared first. That's four times three is 12. That's negative 24 and that's plus eight. Let's see, that'll be 20 minus 24, that's what would be negative 4. Okay, so our vertex, back up here, it's, let's see, the x was negative 2 and the y was negative 4. So vertex, negative 2, negative 4. All right, so we go to negative 2, negative 4. Um, let's choose a different color. Uh, negative 2, negative 4 would be here. And is the a positive or negative? It's positive, so smiley face, it's opening upward. And if our a is equal to 3, that means our 3a is equal to 9. All right. 1 over 3 up. And then 1 over 9 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And here is our parabola. Okay. Let's do this last one here. So. First thing we need to do is identify our A, which is negative 2, and our B, which is negative 8. I'm going to use X is equal to negative B over 2A to figure out the X portion of my vertex, which is negative, that's already negative 2, so negative negative 8. And then divided by 2 times negative 2. So the top would be positive. The bottom would be negative, so 8 over negative 4 is negative 2. So the x portion of my vertex is negative 2. I'll write that up here. Vertex. Negative 2 is the first part. Now let's plug that into the function and get the other part. So um, y is equal to 2 times negative 2 squared minus 8 times negative 2 minus 9. So y is equal to, this would be 4 times 2 is 8. Uh, that would be 16, positive, because it's two negatives. And minus 9, so that looks like it would be 15. 15 is the y-coordinate of our vertex, so we go right that here. Okay, let me check that math real quick to make sure it works out. And it does not because I missed a negative sign right here. That should have been negative as the equation stated. So this will be a negative 8. Okay, so this is not going to be 15, which is good because that would have been off of our little graph there. Um, okay, so this is negative 17. This is 16. So that's negative 1. So y is equal to negative 1. Okay, so let's change our vertex here. It will be 2 comma negative 1. Okay, so we go to 2 negative 1. It's opening downward because it's negative out front. So let's give it a little frowny face there. Our A is negative 2, so our 3A is negative 6. And let's begin to graph. Okay, so over 1, down 2 because our A is negative 2. And then over 1, down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
and six. And here is our last parabola. And that's it.